Howdy boys, what's up again? Today we're going to be doing the top 5 best looking supercars in GTA Online. Now I'm going to start this video off by saying this is subjective, this is going to be my take, but hopefully you guys don't find it too appalling and you can agree with me. And of course, share your own thoughts below. But to get started, a quick rundown of the criteria is that these cars are supposed to be raceable, so no like vigilantes, because that is not usable in races since it has the booster equipped on it. And the other rule is that these cars must be real life supercars as well. So for example, the Karen Sultan RS, which is just a super modded Subaru, is not going to qualify for this list. And be sure to sub to the channel if you guys are new, drop a like as well if you enjoy the video. We're aiming for 100,000 subs this year so that I can produce more good quality content for you guys. And let's dive right in. Starting in at number five, we have the Progen Tyrus which I think might come as a surprise considering there's a lot of really good looking supercars, but I am a huge fan of the Tyrus. When the Cunning Stunts DLC first drop, which is what it's part of, I thought it was, I thought it was a little funky looking. It looks like an alligator. It's also extremely long. It is the longest car on this list by a decent margin. It's also very skinny. So I think it's, it looks a little odd with its lanky stature, but it definitely grows on you, especially since it's based off of two beautiful looking cars in real life. That being the Celine S7, as well as the McLaren F1 Longtail. In GTA, the Tyrus has a little bit more of a unique alligator appearance because the chin kind of sticks out a little bit. And I think because of this, the colors that look exceptionally good are more limited. I think it looks better in like the bluish greenish swampy alligator like colors as opposed to a red or a yellow, which of course are much warmer, not colors that alligators normally come in. I'm not saying it can't work, I'm just saying in my experience of all the Tyruses I've ever seen, it look it tends to look better in these darker colors. Now the thing with the Tyrus is that it is hard carried by its default looks. It has super minimal customization since it is a race car that was added with cunning stunts. None of them really had very much customization. All I did with this one was strip it of its livery and put it in a nice color with Cheetah Carbon R's pretty default good looking kit if you ask me. But the lacking customization part is of course a big feature since more people who have the car are going to have similar looking cars and that's why it's at number five. Nonetheless, it still made the list out of, you know, however many supercars we have in the game. So good for the Tyrus. And it's going to put you down two and a half million dollars if you guys are interested in buying this. Now, next up on our list for longtime viewers of my channel, it is my favorite supercar. It's the XA21. It's based off of the Jaguar CX-75 in real life. I think the XA21 oddly enough, is actually better looking than its real life counterpart. It's really easy on the eyes. It's a little less sporty looking. I'll put an image up of the CX-75 on screen right now, but it's kind of got these vents on the side with that make the nose stick out. And I don't think it looks quite as nice. So the XA-21 is really smooth. It's got soft round edges. It's easy on the eyes. It's just so pleasing to look at. You know, you can't look at the car and be like, I don't like this part. Or at least it's very difficult to do that just because it's pretty inoffensive. Similar to the Tyrus, I think it's going to look better in darker colors, although it's really hard to make an XA21 look bad. Like you've really got to be trying to make it look bad. On top of that, it's also got an active spoiler, which is really cool. Active spoilers are always super sick. Bonus points for a car for sure. Gold doors are a pretty nice feature as well. And this car is going to put you down a little under $2.4 million. Up next, we have the Trafade Thrax which is based off of the Bugatti Devo. It's definitely on the more aggressive side of Bugatti and it reflects that well in GTA. It's super sharp, angular, and has a lot of very aggressive features in GTA. Um, the customization options support that kind of frame as well. You know, you can definitely go on the more racy side with big chin splitters, but you could also be a little more tame like I have here and just put a nice color combo on it and it's it's just gonna look good. The Thrax does have a lot of customization which is bonus points for sure because that means you can make your car look more unique and I think one of my favorite parts about this car is the primary and secondary color separation. It's really well ingrained since both colors play such a big role. You can definitely create some cool looking effects some good two tones for free, you don't need a livery for it. And of course, one of the best parts about the Thrax is the beautiful looking stock rims, which are changeable via the stock wheel color glitch. If you guys are interested in how to do that, I'll have it linked in the description below. But it's such a beautiful, intricate design that is exclusive to this car because of course you can't put the stock wheels on any other car, but it also rocks the high-end, low-profile, 
tire rims really well. It's just the stock wheels are just such a big selling point. Had to mention it. If you wanted to buy a Thrax, it will cost you $2,325,000. Now coming in at our number two spot, we have the Progen T20, which is a fan favorite. It's an OG vehicle. Everyone knows the T20. It is basically the face of GTA. Based off of the McLaren P1, um, I would say the GTA version of it is a little more like rock starified. It looks like it's in GTA. You know how some of the, there are more modern cars that we'll see on this list in a bit that get a more realistic treatment just because they're newer generation of cars and Rockstar kind of had the they got the customization thing going, pushing the limits of what a GTA car can look like. The T20 unfortunately has that kind of simplistic dumbed down look of the McLaren P1 in real life. Nonetheless, I still think it's a beautiful looking car. They just captured the essence really well. The body shape is, in my opinion, what stands out the most on the T20, especially on the rear end. It's got that, like the curvature of the car is just so, it's so beautiful. Definitely a more timeless appearance. Like they can continue to add new realistic looking cars and I'm sure if they do that, the T20 will get bumped down the list. But I think it can always be acknowledged as a beautiful looking car. Maybe it's carried by nostalgia. Perhaps nostalgia is a very powerful feeling, but it does get a lot of bonus points for being one of the first cars with an active spoiler. And it also has, it can look good in so many different colors. The only thing that's the most lacking is probably its customization. That's super limited and I'm surprised Rockstar hasn't added more customization since they did for, you know, the Zentorno, the Sentinel XS, the Schwarzer. Anyway, if somehow you guys don't have a T20, it will cost you $2.2 .2 million and it's a really fun drive as well. So I think it's, uh, it's definitely worth your money. And finally coming in at our number one spot, we have the brand new Grotti Turismo Omaggio, which is based off of the Ferrari F8 Tributo. Beautiful looking car, even among all real life supercars. This is up there in the top five for sure. And I think the GTA replica is close to being on point. Very, very close. The base model of the car looks so damn good. I almost feel like adding customization of it, it, it can even take away from the car. Despite it having a lot of customization, some of the customization options are a little, they're, it's, they're a little weird forged options on like weird panels and just like minor details on the car that don't really seem to add much despite there being a lot of options the car itself just looks so good and it's got the new car treatment so of course it's going to be more updated with everything but they just really captured the essence of what a supercar should be in both gta and real life like if you think what is a supercar this is definitely one of those cars that's going to be the first to pop up in your mind. Not related to its looks, but it is the fastest supercar around a track. And it's so fun to drive because it handles really nicely. It makes it more likable. Maybe that makes us think that it looks better as well, just because it's more likable. It's kind of like how when you love someone, they look 30% better to you than they do to anyone else. But I think objectively, it's pretty hard to find a vehicle that can test the Omaggio for best looking supercar. And if you don't have an Omaggio and you're looking to purchase one, you can get one for $2,845,000. Pretty hefty price tag, but the package with this one is huge. It is immense and it is definitely worth your money. That's going to wrap it up for my top five best looking supercars in GTA Online. Be sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video, dislike if you didn't. Comment down below and let me know what your best looking supercar list looks like sub to the channel if you guys are new and let me know if you would like to see more top fives as well and that's about it until next time take care peace